Let's talk about auto peep. When you have a normal mechanical breath, you're gonna have inspiration here happening above the baseline, and you're gonna have expiration happening here below the baseline. That breath goes in, no problem. Breath comes out during expiration, no problem. And then you have a little pause for your next breath. So we have zero flow here, and that is good. However, take your patient with asthma or COPD. The breath has no trouble getting in, goes above the baseline. But then, as you know, with these diseases, you have a prolonged expiratory phase. And what happens here, if you're not providing enough time for this to get back to baseline, the next breath gets delivered here, and the cycle goes on and on. This is really the problem that we have, because there is volume trapped in that lung at the end of expiration. The first problem it can cause is hemodynamic problems because this causes overinflation of that lung and now you have increased intrathoracic pressure. This increased pressure decreases venous return, which can lead to decreases in stroke volume and cardiac output. The second problem is this causes overinflation lung, which can cause lung injury, but what can also cause a decrease in the ability for that person to trigger the breath by something called auto peeping, which is something we'll talk about next time.